welcome to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Now in today's video, I wanted to talk about an astrological it factor. Well, that's what I'm calling it anyway. You might want to call it the X factor. You might want to call it that indescribable magical quality of beauty that you somehow feel magnetically drawn to. So which placement am I talking about? Well, in the Vedic system, we've got 27 lunar mansions. They are called nakshatras. And one of those is called Rohini. And Rohini nakshatra is found to be prominent in many charts of people who, who are well known for their beauty. People who are actors, uh, models, uh, princesses, times gone by, all kinds of people who are really, you know, they're in the spotlight, but there's just something utterly beautiful about them. And you can't, you know, perhaps it doesn't make sense to the rational or logical mind, but it's, it's more of an energetic thing, I believe. Uh, it's really interesting. I came up across this nakshatra again in a place where I actually wasn't expecting to find it particularly. Not that the person isn't good looking, they certainly are, but it was, a, it was a nice surprise to see and I'll tell you where I found it. I was looking at the chart of Omar Sharif and I was looking at his chart recently because Google was celebrating his life and his work. They put him as the icon on their homepage. This was yesterday, I think. And I remembered seeing it and I thought, oh, this face looks familiar. And I clicked on it and I'm like, oh, it's Omar Sharif. Fantastic. Of course, I remember him from Lawrence of Arabia. And I clicked through to some of the biographies. I think it was one of the British newspapers did this great big profile on him. And they had this slideshow of pictures. And I clicked through the whole slideshow. And of course, I noticed that he was handsome. Who wouldn't? which is a feature of Rohini Nakshatra. But I didn't know this at the time. Anyway, I read through the biography and I noticed that he was a star bridge player. He was really brilliant at playing bridge. And I remember looking at the chart of a trader recently who was absolutely brilliant at chess. And he had, and I knew that, ah, oh, chess, okay, Leo. And I knew that, okay, Omar Sharif would definitely have to have some very prominent Leo or fifth house kind of activity. And sure enough, when I put him into the system, uh, I was able to see that in his fifth house, he's got very prominent Saturn and he's got Jupiter in the 11th and the lovely energy there is doing all kinds of wonderful things for him. And I could see, oh, that's why he's fantastic at bridge. So that's what I originally wanted to see in the system I wanted to see was I right about the fifth house thing and I was which was always it's always nice to have a theory and then you plug them in and you know you can see it it doesn't always work out that way but uh but often it does I think once you start to learn the language of astrology you can start to reverse engineer people a little bit and that's kind of fun but yeah, I put him into the system and my eyes were completely drawn and pulled to, you know, the, the right hand side of the chart where I saw, and I've got it up in front of me now, you know, I can see it now. He's got moon and Venus conjunct in Taurus. Both are in Rohini Nakshatra. And I went, oh, isn't that absolutely charming and wonderful? I was so impressed by that. I was like, right, that makes perfect sense. And I'd just gone through that slideshow and then I actually went back to the slideshow and then I looked at him again in the context of Rohini Nakshatra. And I was just so happy to see this Nakshatra having such a wonderful effect for men. You know, it's, it's not just for women. It's not just giving women that irresistible beauty. It's giving it to men as well. Uh, so I thought that was fantastic. That was really nice to see. And that was something nice for me to see. It was nice, it's nice for me to have an example of a man who has that so prominently featured in his chart. Um, and by the way, I 
did Dow's to see if it was okay that I bring up his chart and I got that it is okay and I do want to make a point that on this channel I am happy to bring up some of the signature features that I find say for example in the charts of people who have transitioned uh, but I won't be bringing up any charts of people who are alive today because I don't want to breach privacy. I will bring up charts if people give me permission to do so and to use them as a case study. I would love to do that. So I would do that if I have permission. Just wanted to put that out there. Um, but yeah, I, I, he's, he's a really great case study. Uh, and there were other things that have happened in his life that I was able to match up and see which were really interesting. But today I really just wanted to feature Rohini Nakshatra and, and just give you that bit of information there. Another person who prominently has it is, of course, Marilyn Monroe. And she definitely had that it factor. Uh, you know, and if we, if we take a look just at these two people, so we've got one man and one woman and if you think about it you know they're not they're not these perfect kind of people they're not plastic or perfect or symmetrical or you know I've heard that they have software that kind of calculates and looks at the symmetry of faces and gives you a number telling you how beautiful you are and all that kind of thing and that's just nonsense that is ridiculous isn't it it's that's not what beauty is um, on my Instagram and if you go and have a look at my Instagram you'll see that I keep posting different pictures and photos and quotes these are just you know bits of moments of inspiration that I share online and one of them is a quote by Karl Lagerfeld and he says uh, I'm pretty sure he says that I don't like standard beauty you know he says there's no beauty without strangeness I don't like standard beauty and I agree with that I think there's more to it than a person's face you look at Omar Sharif I, I looked at the photos quite carefully after I saw oh wow Rohini and then I really wanted to look quite carefully and I noticed you know he's got a gap in his teeth and he's not perfect but there's perfection in the imperfection. It's that wabi-sabi kind of thing that I, I love and I find so fascinating about people. And I love that you can see these things astrologically as well, you know. And I think that we are kind of emitting our starlight, you know, the stars that compose us. We emit that and people pick up on that subconsciously. And I think that's really what draws us to people it's energy you know and if you're curious about what kind of beautiful starlight is composing you then please do come and have a look at my website I would love to read your chart and tell you exactly what kind of starlight makes you so beautiful what makes you enigmatically and unexplainably beautiful so please do get in touch and I'd love to take a look at your chart. So I'll let you get on now, but thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time.